Howdy friends, Bama Kapow here and welcome to episode 14 of Planet Base. Yeah, I've just been sitting here watching it a little bit. We're, we're cooking along pretty good, I think. Got food in storage, got steel or metal. I keep calling it steel, but it's metal. We got more food in storage over here with some spares. What is that? With a semiconductor in storage? Man, we are cooking along, cooking along. We've got all kinds of good stuff going on here. Well, we did have until we lost eight colonists again. How can y'all protect this dorm? Whoops. Let's uh let's see if we can tell who died. Looks like we lost a lot of biologists. Hmm. Alright, here's what we gotta do. We're gonna have to change our landing permissions here. I want 50% biologists, 50% engineers, and 50% guards. No, I'm kidding. I know that doesn't work. But I could put 40, 40, and 20. Oh, let's go ahead and do this and see what we get here. I cannot believe another meteor strike on the dorm of all places we got an engineer all right but I guess it's actually better I, I hate to say this but it was it's better that it takes out people than it take out one of our biodomes if you think about it because losing eight people here is probably better than losing this which causes a starvation spiral that will kill everybody so yeah if we could uh, I guess if you had your pick though you probably pick something like the lab or maybe even a canteen not a dorm not a biodome probably not storage if it strikes storage we'll be in trouble too but anyway okay so we got an engineer we're back up to 44 people it's not what I wanted that's what I wanted now I want to lower this because I, I well we got three guards I'd like to get one or two more guards because my ultimate goal here maybe not in this episode but in upcoming episodes is to start holy cow is to start um, getting visitors to come in and to do that you have to have things kind of situated a certain way you have to have a certain number of guards because the visitors will come in with guns and I guess their sole purpose I don't know if they can take resources but their sole purpose is to kill as many people as they can I guess and so you have to have guards armed with guns to be able to stop them now that that opens up a whole area of problems like where do you put your star base or where do you start letting them come in at you kinda want them to be close to the guards I would think I, I don't know how the guards detect it I don't know if they just know I, I don't know how that works I'm gonna have to do a little research on that but anyway just to let you know where we're at with with uh what we're doing with people coming in and all so we could do 45 45 no 40 40 and 20. wait a minute what's going on why have I got medic I don't want medic whoa man I need to go back to school to learn math How about 40, 40, and 20? That should work. Yeah, there we go. We'll take that. And I'm still waiting on getting tech. None of the traders coming through have, have offered that yet. Um, I think that is a... That's a trade that's not available until you reach a certain level or something, I believe. So I'm hoping that will happen soon. I'm hoping. 
So this storage has got to be almost full. Yeah, it's 95% full. This one is 84% full. And this one is 36% full. So it may be that we have to add another storage thing. Maybe. If I do, I'm going to build the biggest one I can build. Because we have 32 pieces of metal. That ought to be enough to build something. And we've got 31 in bioplastic. Man, we were worried about having bioplastic earlier. We got five semiconductors. Man, we I take not what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead. Are we are we building? Yes, we are. We're building carrier bots. I don't know how many, how many carrier bots do we have. It's been a week or so since I played this game, so that sounded close. We got five carrier bots, one constructor, and one driller. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing just fine, just fine. Here comes another colonist ship. Let's see what goodness he has to offer. What is this guy? An engineer. We got two engineers. Show sure did. That brings our engineer level way up. Now we got 16 engineers, more than any other group of colonists. But we're only good, too. We need to get that back up to excellent. 16 engineers. We could probably turn engineers off now. Really need more biologists. I'm guessing. It looks like our... Well, these are not doing good. Yeah, let's get some more biologists. I keep hitting that. Been playing Minecraft too much. Hitting wrong buttons. Ooh, look at this. I like these charts. We'll, we'll explore that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and fix this. Uh, I'm turning engineers off. Is it adding to this because it thinks I need those? Let's take this up to 30. 30. No, put this at 40. This down to 30. This at 30. And this at 40. If it'll let me. I cannot get this figured out here. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take that. Okay, so, what was I talking about? Um, hmm. Let's take a look at these plants. These are good. They're good, but no, well, some of them are decent. Yeah, so I'm assuming we need a new biologist, or additional biologist to take care of, of everything we got going on. All the beds full? Mm, yeah, but, yeah, and there's a couple of sleepy people. Probably should build another, another dorm. And split these up a little bit, maybe. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Kinda this stupid mountain right here being in the ways. Okay. Uh chun chun chun. We could build a dorm off of here because we got this dorm. I'm sorry I'm moving around a lot, but this dorm comes off this storage. So we could probably build another storm off this dorm off this storage because we also have a canteen here so uh oh oh good gracious keep hitting that escape key I'm gonna have to remap it to something else or something all right we have a trading ship All right, what you got? You still don't have tech for us. However, thanks to Max, that's M-A-K-Z-524, he reminded me you can sell stuff um, and just get cash, which you can use for future trades. And now that we do have a, a plethora of resources, we that might be an option for us to do. Um... 
we could do that uh, I'm trying to figure out what I would sell if I were selling stuff uh, I'm not comfortable with giving up anything at the moment yeah okay we'll just dismiss that and let it go I know I'm probably driving some people crazy but I'm really I, I'm really wanting to save stuff for tech because when that first tech schematic comes through I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of everything I have to get that if I, if I have to because I can't really progress anymore until I get some of that stuff so well I'm not gonna get tech for large large solar panels I don't, I'm not in need of any of that stuff yet but I do need bots that is my gonna be my primary focus too other than getting visitors okay back back to the dorm let's go ahead and we, we need to build one of these just to keep, keep people happy let's 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 do this first let's take a person well hold that thought let's see what we get here with this colonist ship We got, looks like, a worker? What? Stop. Oh my goodness. A medic. That's not two medics. What are you? Why is that medic wearing something different? Or maybe, oh, a biologist. Did we get another guard? Let me check that because I could not click on them fast enough. Yes, we got another guard. We got a medic. And biologist. All right, so that's what we got. I guess that works. We'll leave that on. I don't know. We'll get one more guard, and then we'll turn that off. Are we still making guns? Where where, where are we at with that? Looks like we are crafting one at the moment, so that way all of our guards will be armed. Sandstorm. Uh oh, sandstorm. Let's do this. Yellow alert. That means everybody get your little butts inside. Get your robot. I don't think you're affected that much unless you get sand in all of your gears and stuff. I guess that could be a problem. Oh, he's going to be repaired anyway. Can we lock this? Let's lock this. Man, nobody go outside. Hurry, buddy. Hurry. You can do it! You're moonwalking. Let's go. Yeah, it should make it if they stay on the path or something and move a little faster. Kind of like they did in uh, Banished. When you built a road, they walked faster on the roads than they did in the grass. Same thing here. That should be, that should be the case. However, it's not. Okay guys, I am going to let this cook for a little bit, let it simmer, and I'll be back, and we'll see what we need to do with it after that. Gotta build something. We'll see. Alright, calling this ship. Let's uh, stop this here. It looks like we got a guard and whatever this guy coming through is I'm gonna catch him this time a medic so he gave us two of the people I'm thinking we needed the least we got seven medics and five guards I think that's pretty good because a medic will have to build the um, medic su medical supplies and then the other medics heal people so I don't really know why we would need that many but that's okay I'm gonna turn a hundred percent biologist on at the moment well I'm gonna go 50 50 biologist and worker so that's what we're gonna do right now we'll do that and hopefully I don't know when to stop there okay hopefully that'll give us more of the people we really really need although adding that one biologist I think it was just one that we added has sort of 
stabled these plants out to where they're all excellent now. So that was good to do that. Uh, what else we got going on? Our storage is almost full. If you look here, we got tons of food. Got some meals. That's pretty good. Even got some beer or alcoholic. It may not be beer. It could be, you know, Patron or something. I don't know. Um, let's see what else we got. We've used processors, which means we should have some more. Oh, they have to use processors in the guns. So, that's one place they're using processors. Let's check our limits here. We can produce up to 10 bots and 10 semiconductors. Guns and bots use semiconductors, so really this should be 15. That way, there will always be... I don't know, I, I can make it work in my head, probably can't explain it well, but... That way you always have enough semiconductors to produce all of these. We'll just go with that. Um... I haven't had any problem with spares or medical supplies, so I think leaving those at 10 apiece are fine there. So yeah, we're kind of like on autopilot at the moment. Uh, built back up to the number of colonists plus one before the that we had before the dorm got hit again. So that's fine. But what we're going to do is build another dorm. So let's build another dorm. We'll get that. And I'm going to put it like right over in here. As far out as I can put it. Right there looks good to me. I always take a moment and hesitate to make sure what I'm doing will not kill the colony. It probably will. You can't keep a colony alive. Or I can't I should say. Anyway, all right, we're doing good now. Doing fairly well. Looks like we got some power issues, though. Completely used two of these power uh, containers. I think during the day they get them completely charged. At night they're using them, so I might have to add another one. I could come right off of this solar panel here and add one, or I could come over here, connect it to that. I've seen other people's split this stuff up like they will have a solar panel just stuck out in the middle somewhere that's fine I, I'm I, I don't know maybe that's a better way to do it that way you're not taking putting all of your stuff in one area I don't know I kind of like to group things by function and that's what I was trying to do here like living functions working functions and it just kind of got out of hand but you know that's the way it works so oh another thing I was thinking this okay this is another colony ship we'll, we'll talk about what I was thinking in just a moment yeah our power storage is critical we're gonna have to do something biologist brought one biologist that's fine all right um <clears throat> Oh, uh, where was I going to go with that? Hmm. This power's really got me worried a bit. I'm going to let's see if this fully charges. Is if it doesn't, I am going to have to add something, and I'll probably add just another solar panel. Oh, but what I was thinking is the trader ship. Sometimes they bring bots. And I know my I've had my constructor bot and driller bot for a while now and they degrade after time like this is the driller bot he goes to repair himself but you know he's in good condition they're gonna die eventually and we won't have a replacement so we're gonna have to do something to buy or trade for we really need both of those bots so even if we don't get tech, we're going to have to uh, at least get some bots coming in. So that's the way that's going to work. Now that we got the dorm built, let's go ahead and add a couple of beds in here. I'm, not, I'm only going to add one or two. I don't want to 
have a ton of them we'll just do the one for right now okay oh we're out of oxygen oh no that's because it's new right because we should have enough oxygen for where do I see that at let's uh go here here nope the grid the grid grid it says we have where's oxygen 52 people and we got enough for 68 so we, we should be okay with that but we might need to start thinking about another one of those too which I can build that anywhere I can build that coming off of this machine somewhere over in here that might be good no problem there but we did get this going they're building that bed now so we have another dorm and that is going to do it for this episode and I appreciate you guys oh look let's look at this real quick daytime half we still have half a days of, of light left this is almost completely full that one is full that one's well on its way this one is not oh Mm, yeah we're probably gonna have to add another one but anyway I'm gonna leave it here and we'll come back and we'll see what we can do about maybe uh, adding some more power we'll check that out so I appreciate you guys watching thanks and I will see you guys in the next episode